Hey everybody, it's Janae and thank you for spending some time with me tonight. Tonight's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing for a new store for me called Diamond Express. Stay tuned. On this channel, we do full post reviews, tips and tricks, recommendations and unboxings just like this one. So let's jump into that video. Again hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me tonight. This is a new store for me so I'm really excited to open this box up and take a look and see what we have. So I'm going to give you a little bit of detail before we open the box. This comes from Diamond Express and this is actually a new store. I have not heard of them before and I thought I'd give them a try. This is a 40 by 50 full square drill called Four Horsemen. So I ordered this back on July 20th and I just received it today on the 8th of August. This picture cost $24.99 Canadian with free shipping and the only thing I can say at this point that I wasn't really impressed with is they did ship out immediately when they sent me the tracking number well let's just put it this way I couldn't track it because it just kept spinning and spinning I just finally gave up I believe I contacted them on Monday to let them know that I haven't been able to even find out where this was because the tracking number, it actually was working, but the site that it would go to wouldn't produce the information. So it was kind of frustrating, but they did contact me immediately, I think within the hour. They did reassure me that it was sent and they actually sent me a copy of what they could see on their computer which actually showed me that this package was in Mississauga which wasn't very far so I knew it was going to come in within a few days after that and sure enough it got here today and I'm just excited to open this box up so I have to say their customer service is excellent very quick in response so I'm going to put this off to the side and we're going to open this box. So I hope everybody had a really good day today. It was nice and sunny out here, really warm. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. I love the heat. I just don't like the humidity. So when it gets really sticky and hot, it's kind of ugh. But uh, it's cooled down now, so. And me and my husband just actually got back from, it was a basketball game for the upcoming World Cup for basketball. And it was Team Canada playing Team Nigeria. So again, it was Team Canada versus Team Nigeria. And we didn't stay to watch the end of the game. We um, actually left about six minutes before the game ended and personally the reason why we left is because we don't like to fight the traffic. I don't know how the game ended because at the beginning of the game Team Canada was ahead by several points and then in the fourth period those of you that are interested in basketball, in the fourth period, uh, Team Nigeria was ahead. So I really don't know how the outcome came. But it was actually quite fun to watch. I'm not a big, huge basketball fan, but I won the tickets at work, and I w we were able to go see the game using our company's suite. So it was, it was fun. It was interesting, fun, let's put it that way. Okay, so here is the box. 
The box is a little scrunched here at the corner, which really doesn't surprise me. So I'm just going to bring it up so you can see it. It's scrunched right here. It's got a bit of a bend here. But other than that, I've seen far worse than this. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed and hopefully they have the canvas protected. So let's see what we've got. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> All right, so here are the drills. And here's the canvas. So nothing else is in the box, it is empty. So the box has their logo on it. And it says, Each diamond painting kit includes canvas with diamond painting, inventory sheet, bonus, diamond painting toolkit, trade wax pin and tweezers, and diamond drills. How I found them is up in the air because I honestly can't remember. But the thing that I liked about it was that these, the, the actual website is in the States. Now, I was kind of hoping that that meant that the paintings were coming from the States, but they didn't. They actually came from, get that back, Singapore. So it actually came from overseas. So I ordered it on July 20th. I received it today, so that would probably, let's figure that out. So if I ordered this on the 20th, that would be up here. So just under three weeks. Not bad, not bad. Better than um, some of the paintings that I've received from AliExpress, so I'm not gonna complain. So we're gonna unroll this. Oh, good, more drills. <laughs> I was kind of, I saw this and I thought, oh, that's not gonna be enough, but oops, there's a toolkit. So, kind of let this breathe a little bit. So it looks like they have, let's open up their toolkit. Okay, so they have a basic white pin. Let's see, four baggies. A plate of wax and a white tray with a funnel. Tweezers. Oh boy. Tweezers are angled and flimsy. So we won't be using those tweezers. I do like the fact that they did give us a tray with a funnel. I do appreciate that. I think that's really nice that they do that. Okay, so we're going to take the drills and put them off to the side. Let's take a look at the canvas. So the first thing I'm going to look at and examine is the back of the canvas. I want to see if I see anything that would indicate uh, rivers, bubbling, anything like that. And as far as I can tell, there might be a little bit of a concern right here, but I think that's more just the way it was creased. So I really don't see any major issues. So let's flip this over and take a look at the drill field. And this is one sheet, it looks like. So personally, myself, I prefer to have 
the protective sheet cut. If this was cut in half, it would be much better, but at this point, I'm not going to complain. It's not too bad. going to flip this around here so you can see what I'm seeing. Well, it's really sticky. Um, there's really not a lot of detail on this picture. In fact, even in the viewfinder, I don't see what it is. It, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get um, too over anxious with this yet. Oops. It. I have to say though their adhesive is very tacky. Um, I'm just trying to see if I see anything that looks like it's coming up off the canvas. Um, I don't see anything super major. So the drill field looks pretty good. Other than right in here, it looks like it's lifting up off the canvas, but that's an easy fix. Looks like there's a little bit of rivering right in here, but that's very minor. It's very small, so I'm not too concerned there. Put this back down. Hmm, I don't like the way that went down. <laughs> okay, let's take a look on this side here. Well, you can see the horse, the white horse here. So the other horses are actually dark. There's a white horse, a red horse, which is, or no, sorry, a white horse, a black horse, then there's a red horse, and then a um, horse that almost looks like he's on fire. But let me show you what. the picture looks like. Hold that up. I'm going to bring this up to the camera so that you can see it. Oops. So there is the the image of the painting. So I guess that's why I'm not seeing the detail on this side as much as I see this white horse here. So I'm not, whew, I'm, I'm relieved. I feel a little bit relieved there. Uh, again, the adhesive over here looks pretty good. I don't see any rivers. I don't see any air bubbles. So that looks pretty good too. on this side. Sorry, I'm going to take this. I don't have this down properly. So I just want to make sure I don't cause it to have any issues. There we go. 
now it's flat. So the canvas looks pretty good. Like I said, the only issue I had is right here, and that's, that's an easy fix. Just rub it. So those of you that are new and you have issues with the adhesive trying to pull up off of the canvas, put your protective sheet back down, take your thumb and rub that area. Create a little bit of friction, so you're going to feel a little bit of heat with your thumb or your fingers, whichever you're going to use, and then press and hold, and that should push that adhesive back down on the camera. So I'm just going to take a look. Yeah, it's down. So before I actually put this back down, I want to take a good look at the if the drill field is clear and yes it is very clear so I'm just going to bring this up so that you can take a look at it as well but you can see that the drill field is very clear the symbols are clear very good all right so how many colors is on this? Oh, let's see. Is it numbered? No. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so we're going to have to count this real quick. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 48, 49 colors. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of color. But my hope is that this will have a lot of detail in it. And I just noticed that at the bottom of the picture there's flames right here. So that's going to be really interesting. So this kit obviously um, came with an inventory sheet. It has a quality uh, quality check stamp on it. Looks like someone has checked off all of the drills. Not only did they check them off here, but they also checked them off here. Both pages. Has a beef, has a small how to diamond paint here, which it's it's small, but you know you can kind of figure it out with the, the uh, pictures. So that's a nice touch. So at this point, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, so we're gonna flip this upside down, and let's take a look at the drills. I already got this bag open. all sorted out. So I'm going to go ahead and sort these out and I'm going to time lapse the camera, come back in just a few minutes.
Okay, everyone, all the colors have been accounted for. Uh, I am a little bit concerned with some of them, and I don't know, for some strange reason, I feel that these may not have, these should technically have 200 drills in them, and some of them just are barely half full, so I'm hoping that I don't run out of drills. The nice thing about this is that if I do, there's a lot of these specific drills that I have extras in, so I'm not overly concerned. I'm just concerned about this, the few that I may not have. So we'll see. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. So I'm just going to move these off to the side here. So again, this came from Diamond Express, and I will have the information linked down below if you're interested in taking a look at their website. And I will show you again the thumbprint or thumbnail for this picture. They're called the Four Horsemen. And before we end, Let's measure this because I didn't measure it. Now let's see if this is actually true to size. Sorry about that everyone. My husband just wanted to let me know that he was going to bed. So it's approximately 20 after 10. <laughs> so yeah, he's going to bed. So let's go ahead and measure this. This is as long as the dogs don't move my table. So this is 50, fifty by 40. So the drill field is exactly 50 by 40. Yeah, 50 by 40. True to size. So again, I will have all the information down below in the description if you're interested in taking a look at this company. Um, my first impression, it's a go. Um, I was a little nervous when I saw this part of the painting, but again, I think that is because of the coloring of those horses right in here. So it kind of, to me, looked at first like a big blob of color. But once I saw this side, I thought, okay, it's just, I have to see the finished uh, painting before I can actually make that judgment call. So the canvas is excellent. The adhesive is very tacky. The symbols are very clear. The drill key is clear. It's a little bit smaller than I'd like to see, but that's okay. Uh, because they have an inventory sheet, I'm not going to even go by this. If they didn't have an inventory sheet, I would really like to see this a little bit bigger and on both sides of the painting, not just this side but the inventory sheet is definitely a bonus. The toolkit is great, um, other than the flimsy tweezers, but it seems like that's what we get, so um, it is what it is. Other than that, I will keep you informed once I get this painting started and let you know how it goes. I really do look forward to doing this because I love horses, and when I saw this print, I thought, oh, this is going to turn out beautiful. So we'll see. So by saying that, if you liked the video, give it that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you didn't like the video, it's okay. Totally understand. But if you can go down in the comments below and let me know what you didn't like about the video, I would really greatly appreciate that. Also, if you like what you see and you like what you heard, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join the family. But don't forget to hit the bell. The bell will indicate when I've uploaded my next video. So if this is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning.
If this is afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if this is evening for you, have a very pleasant evening. Again, my name's Janae, and thank you for joining me tonight on The Review. We'll talk again real soon.